Hi everybody, this is Chris Jurgensen coming to you with this new video lesson. Uh, it's going to be something new going on at the ChrisJurgensen.com site. So you might want to go over there because you can get all the graphics and MP3s that accompany this lesson. So check it out. There's lots of more there as well. Today we're going to talk about Dadgad, which is an alternate tuning for the guitar that's quite popular. Uh, the guitar, in its standard tuning, looks like an E minor 7 chord. Right, and by adding in the G sharp note on the third string, you get in basically an E seven sound. That's why the E is a very popular key for the uh, for blues. Um, you know, you can get a lot of nice open strings, and you know, basically you get that nice E tonality. kind of sound. G is also, you know, it, it's easily manipulated as well. It's just this, a sixth string uh, and the first string. And if you play the notes on the third fret, you get a nice G sound. And um, you can get some really slick sound of blues, you know, using this method. This kind of sound. Um, but with the dadgad tuning, um, it's a whole different thing. It's not. It, it's tuned like a sus chord, so um, it's just a different kind of sound. It's a little bit more. Um, it's gray, you know, whether it's major or minor. So you can get some really interesting things going on. Um, so let's tune up. Basically, the easiest way to do it is you tune your sixth string to the the same pitch as your fourth string, an octave lower. All right. Uh, next, your four, fifth string is going to stay the same. Your fourth string is stays the same. Third string as well. Your second string goes down to A, so it's the same as the pitch on the fifth string. It's just an octave down, uh, up as well. And then your first string is going to go to D as well, so it's the same as sixth and your fourth string. There you got it. You got a nice uh, dadgad tuning. You can, right off the bat, you get really nice harmonics. Next, let's see if we can use this tuning to write some music. Uh, a good place to start would be by first trying to memorize the scale. Uh, it could be various scales. This open tuning is neither major nor minor, so you, know, there's, you could use a lot of the minor or major modes. Um, you know, the major scale would be a good place to start, I suppose. So, you know, maybe you want to start by arpeggiating a chord and then walking up the notes in the major scale. You might want to try some other modes as well. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the chord is neither major nor minor, so uh, like you know, the Dorian mode against the same chord will work. How about Mixolydian? Phrygian. All these are possible choices to write your music. Uh, you might want to try the other thing as well. You might want to play like a bass note and then uh, you know, experiment with playing some melody notes from the top of the scale. Uh, I'll go back to the major example. Now I'm going to demonstrate the example on the uh, lesson page. Um, it's, it's just a short exercise that demonstrates hammer-ons and pull-offs. Uh, so basically you play the open 6th string, then you hammer on the 2nd fret on the 5th string from the open 5th string, and then uh, the open 4th string gets hammered onto the 4th uh, fret on that string. The 
exercise goes like this. This is actually part of a song I've been working on lately. Uh, the song so far goes like this. Mm -hmm. 